guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm the chief here in Cocomaya Stokes and today I'm gonna, it's not a rant but it's some things that people actually don't tell you when you want to start a soap business even though you ask them and there are a few things here that I didn't think about when I wanted to start out this soap business so I am going to tell you these things because you need to know it if you want to start a soap business. Okay, so first things first. Everybody wants to know the monetary economic, economic side of things. So, number one, you will be losing a lot of money. Soap gear and soap oils, the fragrance oils, the cutter, they are not cheap, guys. They're very expensive. If you're a student and you want to start making cold process soap, it's gonna be pretty expensive for you. And because I'm a student, I'm still a student, and it's really expensive to me. Nobody told me how expensive it was gonna be, and you're just, and you're just gonna go crazy buying things because you need soap molds, you need the silicone mold for that soap mold if it's a if it's a wooden one. You're gonna need packaging, you're gonna need colors, you're gonna need fragrance oils. You're gonna need your base oils, which for me are five. You're gonna need the sodium hydroxide, which is pretty expensive if you're not, if you're not from the United States. Um, there's a few things that you can get locally that might be less expensive because of the shipping, but you need to punch in some numbers and you need to know how to financially make a book of things. The second thing that has to do with money that I want to mention is that you should start with at least a thousand dollars for materials or more a thousand dollars to two thousand dollars like if you want to make this a business and you want to save money from your materials always buy in bulk I mean some people tell you I will buy in bulk but not not a lot of them emphasize how important it is and most of these tips come from people who are making thousands of dollars a month with selling their soaps I'm telling you I make at least $20 a month sometimes selling soaps so coming from me it might have a more weight to the words my in bulk guys even though you you don't imagine yourself making that much soap like a 50 pound coconut oil barrel might seem too much for you but once you start making soap you will keep on making soap it's gonna be a lot less expensive than buying in smaller quantities. The third thing I wanna tell you guys about is you will spend a lot of time marketing. Like 60% of a soap business is marketing. 60, maybe 80%, 20% is soap making, 80% is marketing. Because right now there's a lot of soap makers and although there's not enough soap makers for the entire world, um, there is still quite a lot of um, variety for you to choose from and in this type of business you need to make yourself known because it's it's something that people put on their skins so it's something that people put on their skins and they want to be sure that you know they're putting something safe on so you will be advertising and marketing a lot it's like one of the main things so people at least not if you want to ship outside of your country or out of your state out of your island etc you're gonna need it because at least here in person people can see the soaps and you can interact better with them but outside people don't really know if you're making things in a trusted way so it's very important so the fourth thing i know a lot of people are those are my cats a lot of soap makers always tell you or they advise that you have a um a standard base oil recipe and starting out that's not entirely great because the first thing people will ask you is what's different about this soap than this soap 
like what are the different properties between the two and it's more appealing to a buyer that you explain to them that they have I don't know one of your soaps has avocado oil and the other one has sunflower oil but if you tell them it's happened to me before if you tell them that all your soaps have the same base oil they're not gonna be as interested as something that's more bigger in variety I mean it's a lot cheaper to have base uh, base oil and it's a lot easier because when you're gonna do the soap you know how your batter will react and you know there won't be any accidents or you, you already know what's going to what to expect but if you want to keep one base oil recipe then consider adding additives like oatmeal milk activity charcoal salt different types of things to different soaps so people have you know more options you can't even put a tea in there milk you get my point Number five is very, very important. It's important for you and it's important for soap makers around you. Don't undersell your soaps because in the long run, that's not gonna help you. You want to make a profit. You might want to live off of this. So selling your soaps at $4 isn't gonna help. And it's not gonna help uh, someone that this is their main job and they sell it, I don't know, at eight, ten dollars $10 or so. Because if they see someone selling soaps at $4, they won't buy the soaps from the $10 one because they can get it cheaper. And if they can get it cheaper, they might think they can get it even more cheaper. It's very important that you don't undersell your soaps. Take out your calculator and punch in the numbers and find out how much you want to get paid and then you and then you put the price on your soaps i read in an article that if you want to live off of soap making you need to price your soaps between 10 and 12 dollars that might seem expensive but there are people who will buy it and if you have already if you already have a market and or you've already made a name for yourself then people will keep, will keep buying from you don't undersell your soaps but don't oversell them either. I mean, don't overprice them. Undersell. Oh my god, I said undersell. Don't underprice. I said undersell, but it's actually under. And don't overprice your soaps either. I mean, sell your soaps at 15 plus dollars. It's okay if you have like a $15 one because I don't know, it's nine ounces um, heavy or it's really expensive for you to make. Don't be overpriced. I mean,. I, we all want to make profit and I understand we want to make money but you can lose customers that way because some of them might think that they're being scammed maybe anyways don't overprice your soaps either that's why it's important to take out your calculator if by any chance soap materials you buy are more expensive in your country then it's fine if you need to price it at I don't know $15 because it's what the materials cost you and your labor and your profit etc so the second to last one is pretty it's not super important but it's something to keep in mind it's a very slow process like it might take you three plus years to actually make good sales or it might take you more it depends on how good you are at advertising or marketing your materials i mean your products because like I said, you need to make a name for yourself and you can't, it's really, you can, but it's really hard to make a name for yourself in six months, for example. Um, you need to be really out there, you need to be investigating a lot, you need to be very active in social media. I mean, it's not easy and it's a really, really slow process and um, you might get really discouraged, it will happen, um, but just keep on trying if you if you have confident confidence in your product then just keep going like it'll pay off eventually so my last piece of advice is mainly directed to people who are soap making in Puerto Rico materials here are a bit more expensive than what you can get in the United States especially if you want good materials and good products um, shipping towards here is really it's superly expensive 
because it's usually $20 plus and it can be ridiculous at times because we are part of the United States and the and USPS does get here so we do get the rates you guys get over there at the United States of America if you are going to sell your soaps here in Puerto Rico at more than seven dollars you need to really sell your product I mean if you're making cold processed soap jabón saponificado you need to really like immerse yourself in knowledge so people understand what they're buying because if you sell I try to look no, what you're buying if you sell a soap here that's over seven dollars people might not buy it because we're we're used to having cheaper things and if they can get a soap for two dollars in the supermarket then there's a high chance they won't buy your seven dollar soap so you need to really sell it I mean you need to really know what you're putting in there you need to know how to explain to people the difference between cold processed soap the one you buy at the stores and the melt and pour one because there's a lot of people doing melt and pour soaps selling them at about four five dollars and people don't know the difference between cold process and melt and pour here so they just think it's the same soap but for less and that can really affect your sales if you're gonna sell melt and pour soap always tell the buyer what they're buying because you might be affecting other other sellers around you if you're selling melt and pour be straight up and tell them no this is what melt and pour is so they understand what they're getting for their money and that's really important so you don't fraud people so yeah soap makers who want to start off in Puerto Rico be warned it's not gonna be easy you're gonna be tempted to just stick with melt and pour and bases are already pre-made instead of making you know lotions from scratch to put an example and if you want to venture into the world of cold processed soap know that it's very expensive it's very time consuming marketing is really hard in Puerto Rico it's not easy it's not easy because like I said people don't know what they're buying and they just see the price range in it if you're willing to stick to the end it'll be worth it at least that's what I'm hoping because I'm starting off like a lot of you are maybe or are thinking of starting off so let's just hope our journey um, pays off at the end and and I'm always open for questions for suggestions if you don't know where to buy or what to buy you can just send me an email or send me a comment and I will answer it and tell you to the best of my knowledge where to get your things or if I don't know the answer I will send you to a, a forum or article that uh, that has the information you want so yes thank you for watching guys I hope this this helps you a lot more in your journey of soap making and I hope we all prosper together bye